Hello Virgo, thank you so much for checking out my channel. These are going to be messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising and Venus for the weeks of December 16th through the 31st. This is a new channel, so just so you know, I like to do a six card spread and I do clarify and look at the bottom of the deck. These are going to be general messages, so they won't resonate with every single Virgo out there. Make sure you check out your other signs for more messages. Sometimes those resonate better. Wow, that was the tower that just fell out. Um, I've been getting the tower a lot recently for most signs. I think this new moon on December 12th is changing everything up. All right, Virgo. Let's see what we have for this last two weeks of the month here. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on. King of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Okay, so uh, King of Swords, he's all about getting to the truth, communicating, not very emotional. He's all about being logical and rational. Two of Pentacles, this is weighing your options, making a choice of some sort, and Queen of Wands, she takes action. Feel like you're going to be finding something out weighing your options and then taking action so let's see what else we have three of swords queen of pentacles and six of wands okay all right so three of swords something disappointing maybe this is not going to be the most easiest conversation to have um it might be a little disappointing at first or it could be past energies we'll clarify and see uh, maybe this is the mindset that you're in right now. You're hurt or just let down by something. Um, and then Queen of Pentacles, she's, you know, stable. She's all about success, hard work, dedication, and commitment. This could be you. At the moment, this could be what you're working towards. And then Six of Wands, this is all about victory, success, being recognized. So let's see what's at the bottom of the deck here. Three of Cups. This is all, could be a reunion of some sort, a celebration of some sort. Uh, we'll clarify and see, but that's going to be kind of like the heart of this reading here. So let's clarify and see what's going on here for Virgo. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Um, this card is also the card about third-party situations, but we're going to clarify because I like to see what other messages I can get before I make conclusions. So... We'll see. Um, usually this card, when I see it, it's very happy. This is like reuniting with friends, getting together, hanging out, and just celebrating something. Tell me about the Three of Cups, please, for Virgo. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Eight of Cups. I keep getting these cards. The walking away, the leaving of something. I feel like... You're walking away from something that no longer serves you. And maybe you're reuniting or celebrating um, with a group. Or maybe this was a third party situation and you're, you've decided to walk away from it. Because I do have three of swords down here. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Eight of swords. Yeah, you're feeling a little stuck, a little in your head about this. Maybe you weren't expecting it. It could be a friend group also. It doesn't have to be a partner. Um, it could be a friend group. It could be co-workers. It could be anybody um, that maybe was gossiping behind your back or, or working against you in some way. Maybe that's why the Three of Swords is here. Um, but I feel like, you know, when, when you're walking away from something, you've made the decision to do what's best for you. And usually that brings about more positive change. We'll see. Give me one more card for the Three of Cups, please. One more card for the Three of Cups. And the Eight of Cups, please. 
One more card for the Eight of Cups. I feel like this new moon um, has kind of uncovered and revealed things to all signs. It's going to be a, a phase here of transformation and new... Oh, okay. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is all about rushing in. Could have been a player, someone that was not ready to commit. Knight of Wands, usually he's like the player card, you know, he just wants to have fun. Maybe you're kind of leaving that energy behind. Yeah. I have Seven of Swords under the deck. What happened, Virgo? Someone was sneaking around, cheating or lying or trying to get away with something. And you're walking away from that. Yeah, King of Swords, He's he means business. Tell me about the King of Swords for Virgo. Tell me about this King of Swords. <laughs> Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're not having it. You are extremely upset about this. You are done with this BS. Could be a Capricorn, but more I'm thinking you're gonna cut this out. This negative energy, you are gonna cut it out. You are not interested in hearing excuses, you're not interested in entertaining any BS anymore. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. This is about weighing options, juggling, responsibilities. Decision between two things, people, ideas. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles, please, for Virgo. Justice. I feel like whatever decision, um, you're going to be making things right. Notice how Justice also has a sword. This is about balancing things out in your favor, making things fair again. Ten of Cups under the deck. I feel like whatever choice you make, it's it's going to bring you utmost happiness. Um, but first, you have to walk away. You have to take action, Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands, please. For Virgo. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, maybe there's an offer coming in and you have to take action. You have to accept this pentacle. It could be a job offer. It could be an offer of commitment. Queen of Wands, she gets what she wants. She's very attractive. This person could be very attracted to you. This is somebody coming in with an offer of commitment to you. High Priestess under the deck. This is about uh, using your intuition, hidden secrets, knowledge, uncovering what's hidden. I feel like this is something that you know you need to take. You know you need to take action. Maybe right now you're just too upset to, to really think things through right now. Tell me about this Three of Swords, but with Queen of Wands here and Eight of Cups, I mean, it's very clear to me that you're going to be walking away from this. Tell me about the Three of Swords. What happened here with the Three of Swords? Please clarify. Three of Swords for Virgo, please. Yeah, you're like, leave me alone. <laughs> You're defending yourself and you're you're going to just be standing standing your ground. You're not giving up. Get away from me. Uh, I don't need any of your BS anymore. You know, whatever happened hurt. You're not going to let anybody disturb your peace. Yeah, you just want to be alone. Hermit under the deck. 
Sign of Virgo, that's you. You just want to be alone. You want to take time to reflect and focus on you. Because whatever happened was disappointing. You weren't expecting it or just it hurt. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Sometimes we have to walk away from things to heal. Eight of Swords. So I feel like Eight of Swords came out again. Um, you've kind of been feeling stuck and trapped. And like you can't, you don't see a way out of this situation. But I could tell you, um, all, all it's going to take is a little more clarity and you're going to get there. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. They're all about clarity there. Communication. Knowing what they're going to do. I feel like maybe right now you're just not there yet or you're just a little bit burdened by this decision you have to make. Sometimes it's not easy to walk away. It's not a, you know, you, you decide you're going to walk away one day and then the next day you're packing up and leaving. It takes time to get this pentacle that she's holding. It takes time. Bottom of the deck, two of swords. Again, feeling stuck, feeling like you can't make this decision you don't know. There might be you know, a situation that you're in right now where it's not so easy to cut things out. But I feel like mentally you're you're getting there. Like at least you know mentally that you're going to make that decision. You're going to stand up for yourself and you're going to protect yourself this time. And, you, and I, I can see you walking away from this. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but I can see you walking away from this BS. And... Look at how we're ending this, this spread here. We have the Six of Wands, success. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Tell me about the Six of Wands here for Virgo. Tell me about the Six of Wands for Virgo, please. Tell me about the Six of Wands, please. Virgo. Wow. <laughs> the star. This is what you want. Sign of Aquarius. You want to be recognized and be successful and victorious. I just heard you want to be recognized for who you really are for your hard work. The stars is all about a wish being granted. Under the deck, the chariot. It's all about moving forward. This energy is all about moving forward, being successful and victorious. I feel like maybe you're not there right now. Maybe you can't see it right now, but this is going to happen for you. You just need to take the necessary steps. You need to weigh your options. Take your time weighing your options if you want, but at the end of the day, you have to make a decision, Virgo. And I feel like you don't have to be scared. I feel like this time, I just heard you're going to make the right decision this time. It's going to be different this time. It's going to be fair and balanced this time. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If this resonated with you, please hit that like button, subscribe, or leave me a comment. If it didn't resonate with you, please check out your other signs. I hope you have a great rest of your week.